Nigeria is in the process of reforming its mining sector. For years, many communities in northern Nigeria have been digging the earth. They are extracting large chunks of rocks which they grind to find gold. They spend hours stealing the soil with no protective care. These men take all that risk for tiny specks of gold. When miners grind rocks to separate gold from dust, it exposes them to lead, which is airborne. Lead is a silent killer. In March 2010, the medical charity Doctors Without Borders responded to the report of children dying mysteriously in communities across Zamfara State. 400 children had died. Thousands were diagnosed with high levels of lead in their blood. It was the worst recorded lead poisoning outbreak in the history of Nigeria. And unfortunately, it was not going to be the last. Five years later, another one occurred in a community in Niger State, following the same pattern. More than 300 people were affected and 28 children died. The effect of that outbreak is still felt today. This is Hussein, a miner from that community. He lost his son during the outbreak and his daughter Aisha has not grown since her village was poisoned with lead. Doctors Without Borders contained the outbreak. They provided health care for those affected and introduced safer mining practices for the miners. These practices are gradually being abandoned as miners and their families have gone back to their unsafe ways. When we went back, we saw women carrying cooking utensils that had been used to filter gold. The federal government needs to continue measures aimed at reforming artisanal mining practices that include formalizing the sector. It is the only way to check the outbreak of another episode of lead 